Welcome to the Diabetes Recovery Channel. It is Saturday, November 11th, 2023, and my name is Kevin. Our mission here is to prevent and cure diabetes. Our vision is a world free of diabetes and diabetes complications. We founded this channel to improve the lives of people with diabetes and provide diabetes information, diabetics, with the tools to navigate the world of diabetes. Come and learn about diabetes recovery, diabetes myths, nutrition, health, diabetes control tips, high blood sugar regulation, controlling fasting blood sugars, and general wellness. We're going to talk about research that even goes back to 1996, 1919, and 1996. We believe that diabetes can be reversed, cured and people can recover from diabetes. We will share stories and information and research about diabetes recovery and also promising research. Disclaimer, the content on this channel is for informational, educational, and entertainment purposes only and should not be considered professional medical advice. It is not intended as a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified health provider with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition or your personal health goals. Never just disregard professional medical advice or delay seeking treatment because of something that you've seen or heard on this channel. The information provided in this video is believed to be accurate based on the best judgment of the creators, but the viewer is responsible for consulting with their own health provider on any matters raised within this video. We do not assume any liability for the information contained in this video. We're gonna talk about diabetes myths. One such diabetes myth is that some people believe that only overweight women can get gestational diabetes. That's not true. It can affect any pregnant woman, regardless of weight. Another myth is that diabetes, diabetics don't need special shoes. In fact, proper footwear is necessary, crucial, in fact, toward the prevention of complications with their feet. Another myth is that monitoring blood sugar is a one-time thing. In fact, regular monitoring provides valuable insights toward treatment, recovery, and cure. This is the Diabetes Recovery Channel. My name is Kevin, and it is Saturday, November 11th, 2023. Welcome. You're going to learn a lot about diabetes recovery, diabetes curing, and diabetes research here on this channel. Let's go to the weather. In Chicago today is sunny with a high near 50 degrees. Calm wind becoming south around 5 miles per hour in the afternoon. Tonight mostly sunny, mostly cloudy in fact, with a low around 38. South wind 5 to 10 miles per hour. Sunday, partly sunny, then gradually becoming sunny with a high near 56. South to southwest wind, 10 to 15 miles per hour, with gusts as high as 30 miles per hour. Sunday night, clear with a low around 43. Breeze with a south southwest wind, 10 to 20 miles per hour, becoming west after midnight. Winds could gust as high as 26 miles per hour. Monday, sunny with a high near 58 degrees. West, northwest wind, 5 to 10 miles per hour. In Chicago, Monday night, mostly clear with a low around 40. On Tuesday, will be sunny with a high near 57 degrees. On Tuesday night, will be partly cloudy with a low around 42. Wednesday, Mostly sunny, with a high near 59. Wednesday night will be partly cloudy, 
with a low around 47 degrees. Thursday, sunny with a high near 59. And on Thursday night, it will be mostly cloudy with a low around 49 degrees. Friday, a chance of rain, partly sunny with a high around 55 degrees. Another diabetes myth is that sugar-free means calorie-free. Unfortunately, not true. Some sugar-free products can still contain calories that are harmful toward recovery of diabetes. Now, there's a big question about there, out there. Is it true that it is possible to reverse diabetes? We're going to answer that question. Is type 2 diabetes reversible? This question comes up because medical doctors have been taught that it's chronic and progressive, but that is simply not true. Stick around to this channel because we're going to share with you the story of many people who were able to recover from diabetes. In fact, one person, John, was able to recover from diabetes, lose over 200 pounds, and became so inspired that he now has become a coach to help others achieve this. And it's coming later on this channel. For many years, it was taught to health professionals that type 2 diabetes was simply not reversible, that the pancreas would bur was burnt out and it wasn't able to produce enough insulin. And therefore, once a person got it, it would be just getting worse. They would have to take one pill, then later two pills, and then three pills, and then four pills, and then insulin injections. That simply wasn't true, and now we have the evidence to back it up. Knowing that it is reversible is very important because it leads the patient, the person, to the fact that they can do something about their diabetes, and they don't have to feel so helpless. So one of the things that doctors started to notice is that with bariatric surgery, that people very quickly reverse their type 2 diabetes. In fact, it was reversed within several weeks and before much weight loss, actually. That uh, after the surgery, sugars would come down back to normal level. And not only that, the, ex the response was extremely long-lived. Even research included randomized control trials that showed the same thing. And that if a person was treated with medications, they would have to continue taking their medications. So therefore, their diabetes never got better. But when they got the weight loss surgery, they were able to lose weight. And even when they lost weight, they often got off of their medications and their blood sugars also normalized. We're going to talk a lot about that on this channel. Researchers also saw the same effect with gastric banding. So stick around on this channel and we will share all the important information you need to know about recovering from diabetes. Recovering from diabetes is possible. There's much research about it. And we're going to discuss that all here on the Diabetes Recovery Channel. My name is Kevin. It is Saturday, November 11th, 2023. And we thank you for being here on this channel. We wish you good luck in your recovery. And we will share lots of information about bad foods to eat and good foods to eat. In fact, we're going to talk about sugar. That sugar is does the same thing to the body as cyanide. That's coming up here on the Diabetes Recovery Channel. Thank you for being here and have a good day.